Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna look at how we can control an air source heat pump from any spa pack. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so with the massive increase in energy prices, we're all looking for cheaper ways to actually run our hot tubs. Now, we're not talking about using it less or putting it away for the winter. You know, why would we want to do that on a lovely piece of kit that we've spent a lot of money on in the first place? We want to use it. The way that we can do this is with an air source heat pump. Now, if you've watched the channel or read the blog, you'll have seen how... I've added air source heat pumps to other hot tubs and I even added one to my own. On my own, my running costs dropped 66% and my heat up speed was eight times as fast than just on my electric pump alone. So it was a huge benefit for me and all of my other customers that have added heat pumps to their hot tubs have seen their costs at least drop by 50% and their heat up speeds have been much, much quicker than on those electric alone. So this video is gonna focus on how we can actually control the, the, the heat pump from a spa pack, because there's quite a lot of misconceptions out there in the market that, for example, you have to have the heat pump that matches your spa pack. Well, that's not the case at all. So I have a Balboa spa pack, it's one of the most popular ones, and I have a comfort line air source heat pump connected to it. And I like the comfort lines because they're really well priced and the feature set for what you're getting. It was perfect for me. I'm really, really pleased with, with the results that I get. But my point here is that my air source heat pump does not match the brand of my spa pack and it doesn't matter at all. So before we get going, always a good time to say, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit me up in the questions. Hit me up in the comments if you've got any questions at all. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing and hit the bell icon to be notified when my videos go live. I put two long form videos just like this one out every single week. A whole bunch of shorts go out there as well. So there's loads of information on my channel around hot tubs, building your own hot tubs, plunge pools, and even cold plunge pools as well. So please do subscribe to the channel. As I said, it just gives me loads of motivation to make these videos. Okay, so as I've said, we don't need to have that same brand of air source heat pump to match the spa pack. So how do we control it? Well, we actually control the air source with the flow of water. So what we don't need to do is rig up any you know, complicated relay system between the, uh, the, the Molex port on, on the existing electric heater and the air source. We could, we could do that so that when the spa pack calls for heat, the relay kicks in, it turns on the, the air source. It's, it's just too complicated and we don't need to do that. But also killing the power to the air source long term, really not sure what the results would, would be on that because you're not allowing it to, to cool down and go through its kind of shutdown phase on its own. So how I always advise people to control their air source heat pumps is with flow. So how does that work? Well, when your hot tub is calling for heat, so it's not at the temperature that you've set it at, it turns on the circulation pump and it turns on the heater. Now, what we're gonna do when we connect an air source heat pump is we're gonna actually disconnect the electrical heater. There's no need whatsoever to leave that electrical heater connected. It's only gonna cost you more money on the actual running of the tub. So once we've disconnected that heater, the relay will still turn on in the spa pack, but the spa pack doesn't know that there's no heater connected. So it's not really a problem. We just leave that as it is. The circulation pump kicks in and this is what we want to use. We want to use the circulation pump to actually control the heat pump. So the circulation pump turns on, water starts moving through the system and it starts moving through the air source heat pump as well. Now inside of a good air source heat pump. As I said, I like the comfort lines. Uh, there are lots of others on the market, but I always find that the comfort lines price versus features are, are, are really good. Have a actual flow switch inside. So what happens is when that water is flowing through the air source heat pump, the air source heat pump recognizes there's water going through to be heated 
And if it's not at temperature, so it's not at the temperature that you've set the thermostat on, it will kick in and it will start heating your water. As soon as that circulation pump turns off, so when your tub is actually up to temperature, it's hit the point that you've set it at, the spa pack will turn off that circulation pump, water will stop flowing through the air source heat pump, and the air source will actually turn off as well because it would overheat if, if it didn't. So that's why we have that, that flow sensor or flow switch inside of the air source heat pump. So what we can do is with any hot tub and any spa pack, we can control the air source heat pump indirectly by using the flow of water. And this just means we don't need to rig up any complicated relays or, or play really around with any electricity. All we're doing is powering the air source heat pump. And to do that, we can go straight off the block. And by block, I mean where your main three core cable comes into your spa pack you can come straight off there into your air source and that way you can put it onto a breaker and it will be on the same breaker as your uh, hot tub. Now, of course, anything electrical, you should always consult a qualified electrician. I'm not a qualified electrician, uh, so you should always consult one before you do anything like this. But the principle of getting the power off the main block into your air source and then controlling your air source with the flow from the circulation pump pretty straightforward, but it means that you can add any air source that doesn't have to match your spa pack. It doesn't matter about the age of your spa pack, the age of your hot tub. This method will work for you. Now, if I could help you with the supply of an air source heat pump, as I said, I recommend the comfort lines. I'll leave a link for those underneath this video. And I also have connection kits in my store as well. So you can choose the right size kit, which is just the right length of pipe that will allow you to connect the air source to your system. As always, any questions, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you found this short video useful and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.